We're here with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter looking at a recap of the top stories in 2017. Welcome to the show. Love the tie. Santa Claus is here again. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's the holiday season and you don't want to take the tree down or you no. don't want to take the decorations down because Santa might have forgotten your house or maybe he forgot to bring that gift or maybe yeah, you forgot to get a gift. So we <laughs> want to keep everything covered and plus the decorations in here are beautiful. I know. I love it. I love yep. the Christmas season. Well, there's a lot that happened this year. It was a presidential election. Things have settled down. How did things turn out this year? Well, let me tell you this. Basically, when a presidential election happens and a new administration takes over, things tend to quiet down, except that this year that didn't happen because <laughs> Donald Trump decided that he wanted to burn more bridges and build them. Mm -hmm. So this is a type of a different type of year in terms of the way that uh, this president has conducted business. Now, there's a lot of uh, people who feel it's that there right should have been a shakeup in government, and I think that's what you're going to see. But what's happening is the president, by his constant tweeting, has taken attention away from some of the accomplishments that he, that people might want to give him credit for. Uh, this will be a consequential president because despite all the bluster, uh, the administration is making changes to regulations that will affect people for a long period of time. Okay. But, you know, when you had that segment at the beginning of the program about Barack Obama talking about, the, you know, social media, uh, this president has used social media and, mm -hmm. the, and the previous president did not. So uh, it's going to be up to history to judge whether this is going to be a good Twitter presidency or a middle-of-the-road uh, Twitter presidency, you know, social media presidency. Okay. And some of the major news stories, they seem to blend into the next year, right? Yeah. That happens because of social media and also because of all the moving parts of the news stories. I mean, you know, when you're talking about large stories that are uh, have different implications, I mean, you know, you are probably going to be covering reactions to stories of things that happened this year and next year just mm -hmm. because of all the moving parts. Right, definitely. So internationally, what was the top story? North Korea has to be the top story and that will be another one that will blend into next year. All of the implications for, you know, the dictator's reactions to how, you know, he's going to uh, supposedly use these weapons and how our country is reacting to it is going to be a, one of the top stories in probably 2018. As a matter of fact, there was something today that came out about, you know, him launching something again. So it's going to be one of the bigger international stories. So really quickly, what was nationally top story? Nationally top story is going to be how divided America is. And statewide, the biggest story is going to be the biggest local story. And that's going to be Lou Barletta running against Bob Casey for U.S. Senate. Okay. And uh, lots of lots of good things here we talked about today. Exactly. Lots more to come in 2018, that's for sure. LulakPoliticalLeader.blogspot.com. All right, great seeing you again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.